your no, point. I, Let me finish you can't my just point. Keep talking. Piers, you keep interrupting. Answer let's my question. A, let's have a conversation. Answer my question. Let's have a conversation. We need you mediation here, guys. You spoke about slavery. Let me answer my. Uh, let no, me answer the point. I asked you a specific let's, question. I, I, I Why should the point. King Charles so let me answer the point. be either apologising for what happened centuries ago okay, or paying money for it? Okay. So what you're talking about is slavery. I'm not talking. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you are feeling good. Today we'll be checking out a video by Piers Morgan titled Piers Morgan Clashes with BLM Black Life Matters Organizer Over Colonial Repatriation. Wow. I believe this is going to be an interesting debate. Let's check it out. Go. The new bombshell poll published today shows that nearly half of the king's realms would vote to become republics if they had the chance. Caribbean countries cite colonial ties as the reason for wanting to part with the monarchy. And pretty disturbingly for King Charles, 10 of the 14 countries polled say they back the Sussexes, saying Meghan's treatment exposes racist views. It's ignited debate about whether King Charles should apologise for Britain's past sins, maybe even pay reparations. Would that make any difference? Or would it just fuel the fire of republicanism? Well, here with me now to debate this, the former royal butler to Princess Diana, Paul Burrell, the activist and organiser of Black Lives Matter protests, Iman Aiton, and the historian and royal author, Dr Tessa Dunlop. Well, this will be a quiet debate, won't it? <laughs> uh, well, you brought your earplugs, Paul. Um, <laughs> I won't get a look in. <laughs> Paul, let me, let me start yes. with you. I've got a problem with this constant... Looking back in history, mm -hmm. feeling guilty mm -hmm. for stuff that none of us in this era actually did, mm -hmm. and then having to say sorry for everything that we didn't do, and even now, apparently having to pay people today for stuff that happened to their ancestors many generations before. It's, I don't really get yeah. what that achieves. We should learn from lessons of the past. Um, we can't change anything, um, and we should move forward. But the Queen's greatest achievement, his mother's greatest achievement, was the Commonwealth of Countries. She was very proud of that. I, th I think if she could, could beam her down now, she would say, my Commonwealth, that should survive intact into the King's reign. So he should do whatever he can. Now, bear in mind, I've known this man for a very long time. Yeah. He has a voice. And, what, and he, he will say what he but feels. Here's the real problem he's got. There's another voice yapping away yes. about racism. Two voices. His son, Harry, yes. and Harry's wife, Meghan, who for three years have branded the royal family a bunch of callous racists. That is now turning up in these yes. polls because, understandably, frankly, yes. black people in the Commonwealth around the world yes. are going, whoa, really? They're what? racist, these people? And yet they haven't produced a shred of evidence for any of it. You and I know the royal family are not racist. And you and I know that they press the racist button on the Oprah Winfrey show. Yeah. And they never apologised to the Queen. Never. She went to her grave thinking there was a racist in the royal family. And after she and died, actually, they, they said... What happened? We, well, never, we didn't say that the press said we that. We didn't mean to say it was well, racism. Why All didn't right. you correct it, Harry? Why didn't you tell your... Well, we know why, because it made, them, it made them... They weaponised racism and mental health to make themselves extremely rich. I totally agree. All right, come on. This, is my problem. this has always been my problem with this racism narrative that these two have spun without any evidence, is that people around the world, particularly people of colour, they believe it. And why wouldn't they believe it? They're hearing the first person who wasn't a white royal bride say they're racist, these people. So then the damage is, is palpable, it's tangible, and it will lead, I think, if we're not careful, to a load of these countries becoming republics and the beginning of the end of the monarchy. Thank you for your soliloquy. No, thank you. <laughs> All right, no problem. So first and foremost, my feelings on the royal family and racism are not predicated on Harry and Meghan's willingness to identify. That's the difference between me and you. We are talking about a country that was built off of racism and we are referring to the oldest institution in this country that started it all. So that's the first thing. In terms of why black people and many others feel the way that we do, well, the monarchy is a symbol of white supremacy. OK? White supremacy. That is the reason. Let me just Why finish. does it make any Let difference if King Charles says sorry or why does it make it if he pays money? What difference does that make? OK. So, How does that combat racism? No, it actually does. So let me The guy hasn't got a let racist bone in his body. He's done more for racism than any public figure in the country. Why should he be paying for the sins of people hundreds of years ago? OK, so can I finish? Yes. Thank you very much. So, the monarchy is a symbol of white supremacy, which is what black people have had to contend with for the last 400 years, notwithstanding the fact that Elizabeth or every king and queen 
from Elizabeth I. You think the last before. late queen was a, was a model of white you. supremacy? Let me finish. Let me finish my point. You just asked me several questions. Let me finish well, my point. Well, answer the question. Right, I'm getting there, so just finish. Well, hurry Let up. Let me just finish, okay? Hurry up. So, Every king and queen from Elizabeth I to William IV has supported and profited off of slavery. So it, this is about the fact that this country was built off of racism, and that's, that's the point. Also Wait, hold on a second. This country also led... This country stems from... just keep talking. No, because I haven't even finished my point. You can't Pierce. just you make outlandish statements about our royal family and not expect me to jump in. Pierce, you keep, keep interrupting. Can I finish my point? This country also led the world out of slavery. OK, so can I finish my point? A oh, long right. time ago. Can I finish my point, please? Yes. Perfect. But so, please finish it. I will. No problem. Just be patient. So, every single king and queen from Elizabeth I to William IV over a 270 year period said this. supported the enslavement of Africans and profited as a result. So, it yeah. doesn't. It, it's, it and doesn't take country, any genius, hold on a second, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that this country was built off of racism and it stems from white supremacy, all of which is directly attributed to the crown, slavery and colonialism. To answer you your now, point, I, let me finish you can't my just point. Keep talking. Piers, you keep interrupting. Answer let's my have question. A, let's have a conversation. Answer my question. Let's have a conversation. We need mediation here, guys. Mark. You spoke about slavery. Let me answer my uh, let no, me answer the point. I asked you a specific let's, question. I, I, I Why should the point. King Charles so let me answer the point. be either apologising for what happened centuries ago or paying money for it? Okay, so what you're talking about is slavery. I'm not talking about slavery. Slavery can be traced back to Europe, the Greek slave trade to be specific in 400 BC, then the Roman Empire, and then we get to the Muslim conquest of 7th century. And black people history. had slaves so, what too, we're talking about, right? exactly, so, so I'm not talking about slavery. Slavery Pierce. comes in many forms. I am not forms. talking about there slavery. There is a lot of slavery well, around talking, today. So I'll tell you what I'm talking about. I'm talking about colonialism, neocolonialism, racism, yep. racial disparities, and the racist system of oppression and exploitation of black people and white supremacist yes. attitudes, which have been rebranded under the government. What's that got to do with King Charles? About. I am telling you why he needs to apologise and pay reparations. Why? What did he do? Anything to do with slavery. slavery what did he animus. do? I am telling you, colonialism, neo-colonialism, he didn't racism, do that. racial disparities, and a racist system, and white supremacist attitudes. That is the legacies of the crown, slavery, I, and colonialism I that still remains. I understand. Distinct. Let me finally get my point across, Lord. You've you need got to your let me point finish. across, but here's my point, my counterpoint to you. What's any of that got to do with King Charles, okay, so who explain. actually has been, I think, one of the great standard bearers in royal history? for actually promoting racial equality and tackling racial okay. injustice. So let me Yet you want him to be issuing grovelling apologies for people hundreds of years ago, so and explain. you want him to pay money. OK, so I think black people would be far more inclined to get over it if it wasn't for the fact that the legacies of the crown, slavery and colonialism still remain, which includes racism, racial disparities and the racist global system of oppression and exploitation of black people. Which All right, you're not answering my about. question. I Tessa. am, but you don't want to accept no, it. That's I do. No, no, that's a you haven't explained you also have the what's that got to do with King Charles? As, as, as a result of exploitation right. of black people. Let and, us, you also have, us, and you also have... Let Tessa global, speak now. Hold on. You haven't even let me finish, Piers. No problem, no problem. You've I've done nothing. Nine tenths of the talk. No, no, you didn't let me. Tessa, finish. you didn't let me. I you've wonder. Heard, you've heard the debate. I think <clears> you're both <throat> wrong, actually. On the one hand, we celebrate, and you certainly do, Piers, the idea of monarchy as continuity. Yeah. Going way back when. I mean, I read an article this week that traced the anointing oils to the Old Testament and King Solomon. <laughs> you can't pick and choose which bits of that continuous historic line you like. Yes, I can. Uh, well, how is that you, that I'm wrong? You can, but it's hugely, okay. but it's hugely problematic. And I would counter that? to you where we have the face of history and the, and, and the physical form of history in our royal family. Well, when, when, for example, France, the Republic, outlawed slavery much later, and in the civil wars in America, so that's what it took in America so much later. You. So, so, so my point is, no, two seconds. No, no, no. Let me finish my point. You see, you want to interrupt, but you interrupted me several times, Piers. You, you, you did all the talking. I see your hypocrisy right now. It's one, fine. I, I did all the talking. I think you what you do, me. what we're doing here is Let we're conflating an individual family with institutions of state. You can't expect a king to apologise. He doesn't have that power. It's he would have he to be told to apologise so by the government. Because it's an institution of state. Do I have no, to... Really all right. He's talked about... Sorry. Excuse me. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. You keep talking about slavery. Let's just be clear about slavery. Yes, you did end slavery. You've made that point and you've made that point, so let me address it. You did end slavery. And there was a clause in the contract that said, for example, that Jamaicans had to work up to 45 hours a week for the following four years, whilst you simultaneously paid off the slave owners and left the enslaved their countries to rot. And then you transition to colonialism, where slavery still continues, and yeah. then you transition to the Commonwealth, I agree. where you continue to assert your dominance, exploit black people, and do it in a far more dignified way. I agree, Mark. I agree. But this is all... But it's all negative. negative. There are all sorts of... No, because nobody's refuting... Can we all stop talking about... Nobody's refuting the repugnance of that period of history. Can we please time out? The biggest problem with slavery right now is there are between 7 to 10 million slaves in India. Last time I looked, that is not 
as a result of white supremacy causing modern day slavery. I would rather we expend all our energy on current slavery issues than going back I'm in the past, as we now do I'm not with, about we now go back in the past for We're everything, about wallowing in self guilt about stuff that had nothing We're to do with us. Slavery. Paul, yes. Legacies, you ignored that well, conveniently. That, well, Legacies of the crown slavery and colonialism. You ignored that conveniently. Do you, okay. this, is, this is such Please a continue, negative... This is a Legacies negative going back how far? How far do you want to go back? 400 years, black people have been constant... OK, okay. so what I want... Them to do? Okay. I told you that. So do you think you the Vikings should be paying me money for what okay. they did to me? See, you're talking about slavery. I am not. I already explained well, that to you. What's all about slavery? I'm talking about colonialism. You're not listening to me, Racism and racial disparities that still contend... Stop shouting. You're not listening to what I said. You're not listening to me. Should the Vikings and the Romans also, through their modern day ancestors, mm -hmm. be paying me reparations for what they did to my okay. family. So I'm not talking about slavery, I'm talking about colonialism. It's not slavery, you're not listening to me. Yes, I am. The Vikings yes, am. and Romans didn't make yes, us I slaves. Am. No, yes, you're talking about the Roman Empire, which included No, slavery. I'm talking about, about the Romans about. and the Vikings coming over here and causing immeasurable harm yes, to my ancestors. Yes, empire should and they slavery. Be, should Italians and, and, slavery. and Norwegians be paying me reparations? There's in one difference. sentence, one There's sentence, Iman, Iman, in one sentence. Go ahead. What do you want? In one sentence, what's your idea? Thank you, Tessa. Money. You want money? You want money? Reparations. You want money. Okay. Reparations. Then I want money from the Vikings and the Romans. Paul, I think Paul would be very patient. No, but the Commonwealth is a force for good. Yes, oh, really? countries. They, yes, it is. They okay. do Absolutely. They work for each other. It's a family, a community of families that help each other. That's why it was formed. And no, you benefit more. That's why it's formed. No, we don't benefit no, more. Benefit they more. benefit no, as well. They, benefit they do benefit. Paul, of course, they do. Paul, yes, they do. Uh, yes, I'm not saying that they don't. What I'm saying is that we benefit. You benefit. You benefit Everyone more. Everyone benefits. Exactly. All right. You benefit. Ima, you benefit. Ima, you benefit more. Ima, that's white supremacy. Ima, that's how much money do you want from me? That's what I keep talking about. How much money do you want from the me? The National Commission on Reparations said that Jamaica, for example, is... is How much do you want from me? I'm How much do you, you want from me? It's not about my feelings and not from you. I'm not... This isn't about oh, me and We've you all got to chip it. in, right? So yes. how much do you want? You. How much about, money could no, I give you for something that had nothing to do with me, right? That's why I want it. How much money could I give you to make... legacies. To make racism better? Nothing keep ignoring that conveniently. We're talking about the legacies of the crown saving claims which includes racism. I don't know why you've come on deciding to speak like a robot today. Day, I've told it's not, you. It's not really you working. Don't listen, because you don't listen. That's okay. why. But that, nor does talking to me like that, it doesn't work. Okay. Well, right? how about listening? But I will happily how about pay, listening? If you could convince me that it will change racism one iota in this country, I will pay you a check for the damage inevitably that was done by my relatives when they weren't being attacked by Vikings and Romans. I will pay you reparations if I think you have any argument for why. I should. Can I give and you know what? Response? There isn't one. Can I give you a response? No, we've winning. run out of time. That's See, it. That's the wow. What an interesting debate. You can tell this was really, really, really heated. Wow. Just by the title, Piers Morgan clashes with BNN organizer over colonial repatriation. How much do you want from me? Wow. What an interesting topic. You can tell... Uh, we are, uh, a written note on the screen. Should King say sorry for slavery? Majority of British think Charles should not apologize for history. Wow. I also feel the same. I don't see any reason why someone will be apologizing for what happened 200 years ago. I believe before the, before slavery was ended, uh, repatriation were made and apology was made so I see no reason why you should be bringing up the topic about colonization about slavery about uh, repatriation in the 21st century for what actually happened 200 years ago I see no reason why and I feel uh, the whites we have right now uh, the whites we have right now never hone trade they never took part uh, in slave trade. They never owned uh, slaves. It actually happened uh, 200 years ago by their uh, ancestors. Same thing, the black we have now never felt uh, the pain of, never felt the pain of slavery, never felt the pain of colonization because it happened more than 200 years ago. The people that felt the pain are no more. So I see no reason why uh, the current whites we have now that never engage uh, in slave trade, they never engage in 
colonization. I see no reason why they should uh, be apologizing to the blacks. I see no reason why they should be paying uh, money to the blacks just because of what happened 200 years ago. I, I believe if the black were also in the shoes of the whites, and I believe the blacks will never apologize to the whites. So, because the whites we have right now, they never commit uh, the crime of uh, colonization. They never commit the crime of slavery. Slavery was committed by their ancestors, and it happened more than 200 years ago. And before that, even before the slavery was ended, there were a lot of uh, apology, uh, and there was also a repat repatriation of the maid. And you bringing up uh, the case of slavery, the case of colonization, and demanding for repatriation. So do you mean someone should be paying you for the crime he never committed? I think that is really absurd. That is totally an idiotic ideology. Permit me to say she have been indoctrinated into into she have been indoctrinated into stupidity, into idiotic ideology, because that is totally unjust. That is totally uncalled for for you to be demanding for 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 the whites to pay you for uh, uh, colonization that happened two hundred years ago, uh, uh, slavery that happened two hundred years ago, for you to be demanding an apology and demanding repatriation. I feel that is totally unacceptable. If you are trying to tell me that. You are feeling the pain of slavery, so you should be paid, so you should be compensated. I will tell you, you know a thing about slavery. You are trying to insult our, 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 our ancestors that felt the pain of slavery. You coming in this 21st century saying you are feeling the pain of slavery that actually happened way back 200 years ago. I believe we blacks, we Africa, we are stronger than that. And we have gone way past, we have gone way past all this problem she's complaining about i believe the blacks is a the black is a strong race black is stronger than what she's what she's uh, uh claiming the blacks are i believe she's uh, she, she she she's trying to uh bring the name and the image of blacks down because i see no reason why someone should pay you someone should apologize to you for the crime they never committed and she was trying to prove her point uh in this video she said she's not talking about slavery, that she's talking about colonization. You are talking about colonization, you are demanding for uh apology, you are demanding for uh you are demanding for uh repatriation, you, de you are demanding to be paid. So I feel you are indirectly talking about slavery. Because once when you talk about the colonization era, it's really associated with slavery. And you telling me you are not talking about slavery, you are talking about colonization, demanding apology from people who never committed a crime. I, I believe that is totally uncalled for. That is totally wrong. I don't feel uh, the whites that we are right now, they never, they are, the whites we have right now, they never engage in slave trade. They never own slave. So I don't see any reason why they should give you an apology. I don't see any reason why they should pay you for what happened 200 years ago. I think that is totally uncalled for. That is really unacceptable. And she keep talking from all what she's saying. I'm not seeing. Uh, I'm not seeing any facts. I'm not seeing any point. She's just uh, blabbering. I'm not seeing any fact in what she's saying. If you are demanding for an apology for what happened 200 years ago. I believe apology have been made uh, before the slave trade was ended. How long are the whites going to keep apologizing for uh, going to keep apologizing to the blacks for what happened two hundred years ago? How long should the whites keep apologizing? When is enough going to be enough? When is enough going to be enough? I think it's high time we stop uh, uh, we stop this uh, slave trade colonization. White apologizing to black. I think it's high time we stop this nonsense because uh, you never felt the pain of slave trade. Those you are, uh, you are asking for apology or you are asking to pay you as to pay you for, uh, to pay you repatriation. They never own trade. They never own uh, slave trade. They never, they never own slave. They never engage in slave trade. So how come you are demanding for them to pay you? I believe the society we are right now, we have to be true, true to each other. We have to be truthful to each other. I believe not just in the era of slave trade. I believe if we are going to look down to history, uh, 
look down to history, look down, even narrow history that I believe community have offended communities. Countries have offended communities. So countries have offended countries. A lot of conflict have happened between countries as countries, between states and states, between nation and nation. So I believe one way or the other, each country have been affected uh, by one problem or the other. And I see no reason why we should be talking about what happened 200 years ago. I believe we should save the time, we should save the energy, we should save the effort for how we are going to make uh, uh, for how we are going to make the nation better, for how we are going to address the issues that are happening currently, instead of uh, looking, instead of trying to address what happened in 200 years ago that have been dealt with. Wow, this is really absurd. So I would like to hear your comments. Keep the comments coming. Let's get the conversation rolling. Don't forget, click on the subscribe button, click on the like button. Do have a nice day. Yeah. yeah.